Alrighty, friends, so you have made the awesome snowman. When you put in a number, it draws a snowman of whatever size you ask. It is so slick, all you do is change that number, and poof, you get the snowman you want exactly where you want. Right now, though, I want to challenge you to make it more awesome. So I'm going to move my code up. I'm going to find my modify, and I'm going to create a new object, and I'm going to call this new object eyes. So simply hit rename and give it eyes. And let me show you the technique it takes to add all the other cool pieces to your snowman. First, click on your shapes and determine what you want your eyes to be. I'm going to make my eyes out of a sphere. I'm going to set my sphere for a radius of 2. I like 36, although you could do other numbers. If you get to really small numbers, it makes really funky shapes, which may be cool as well. The part of this code block you need to understand is not only do you have to draw it, you have to draw it and move it so you can see it. So right now here, the little sphere drew on the bottom, and check this out, it drew halfway underneath. So every item we bring in draws at 0, 0. So we always have to adjust that as we place our parts. You can also see here that our eyeball is quite large. So I'm going to change my radius to 1, and I'm going to find that move command, which is under modify. I'm going to put the move underneath, and then I'm going to use the Y command to bring the eyeball a little closer to the front of our project. So I'm going to just put negative 2, because remember it was at 0. Helps if I hit the negative sign, so there's my negative 2. And then I'm going to put my Z at 50 high. As you become more advanced, you can use these variables to try and figure it out. But let's start by just testing a Z of 50. When we hit play, our snowman draws. And then, check it out, I have got a eyeball on the top of my head. So 50 was a decent guess. Let's try 45 and hit play and see what that looks like. Now 45, it showed up inside the head. So let's change this to negative 4 and see how that looks. So now my eyeball has appeared, but it's a little low. Let's adjust the speed that it draws. And I'm going to try 48. And I'm going to do a radius of 0.75 so it's even a little smaller. And this time when I hit play, it draws immediately. And I like that eyeball, except I want it to be black. And I want it to be, instead of zero, I want it to be left or right of zero. So I'm going to put it two to the right and hit play. Pretty nifty for an eyeball, right? So with one new object called eyes created, you just repeat that process, but pick different X's and Y's to draw on the other side. You can make another new object called buttons. You can go through your shapes, look for objects for maybe a hat. Maybe you could do arms with a cylinder. How about using the cone for a nose? The cylinder could even be a hat. Maybe you could do a scarf with the torus or the tube. You can add stars. There's nothing you can't code. Just keep making a new object. And then as the objects appear, make sure their locations show up where you want. If you ever have a part you accidentally drag out that you don't need, simply grab it and set it on the trash can. When the lid opens, it swallows it. If you ever have a part that moves off into some wackadoodle space, you can hit equals and it spreads the world out so you can see more as you build. So my friends, that is the snowman challenge. Let's see how awesome and how cool your code can be for your sweet little animated snowman. If you make something awesome, make sure you share it with me at HLModTech. If you like this video, please smash that like button. If you haven't subscribed, what are you waiting for? Hit that subscribe button. Friends, if you want to know when I make a new movie, hit the notifications bell. And if you got a question or a comment, please add it down below. Thanks for watching and have a great day.